All right, so I held a UC Mariquan art contest and I got seven submissions. I'm gonna go rank them now and give out the prizes. Basically, seven people entered, you know who you are. I said I'll throw five million at it. Here are the payouts. First 1.5, last is 200K. And just so I get the prizes over, at the very start, basically, I just showed the other thing. I'll go over it again. For these seven players, you'll get your payout. And if you don't want raw MP, I don't want to get banned per se by just tossing people MP. If you would like it in baby paintbrushes or something like that. Otherwise, you can come to my art contest gallery. And any item here, I'll just like take 20% off. 25% off the actual value, then you can minus whatever prize you got, and then you could that's the makeup. So just to be example, so say you won, you got 500 k and this was worth 1 million, and then so it's minus, so it's 750k minus 500k, so you'd, I, you'd get this for 250k. But for these Chia Pops, yeah, we'll just say they're worth like all 1.25 million. I got a few of them, but that's just the prices going forward, so let's see the art. Okay. <clears throat> I'll just show them all first once quickly, and then I'll go back to them individually. These next three are all by the same person, so I'll pick the best one. And then, not to be that guy, but uh, <laughs> this is gonna get, this is gonna get last place. It's supposed to be drawing this. It's gonna get last place mainly because the rest of these are actually fully finished art, and I think this still has a bit of, bit of places to go to explore. Super cute. I love the idea. Obviously, just I want to make sure that at least I'm some degree objective. It's all right. This must be, a, they're all used, they're all Mariquan, obviously. Mariquan Asia. There's a lot to say about this picture, and I love it. <clears throat> obviously, I like the various just color backgrounds, like you're underwater, and there's just like the light coming through the up above. Obviously, we're a mermaid underwater. I love the colors they picked. I could stare at this picture for a long time. I love the hair, just we're underwater, we're floating, big smile. The portions look right to me, like I, this line right here where you see like the body goes all the way down, then you can see the back. The tail I love as well, the perfect little frilled out tail. Obviously we have the hearts for the antenna. Okay, out of the three submitted by the same person, <clears throat> I think obviously it's most fair to take the actual most completed one. I do love the Mariquan croc, Galcus Atlanticus. We got the Latin name for it. <laughs> I love it. And obviously we got a Mariquan Usul Sea Bunny. I love it. It's just not complete compared to the other, the other, well, this one. So we're going to think about these for right now because I'm going to have like first to last is my idea. <clears throat> Hope it all works out. But I love this floatsome. Marlin. Obviously, I, my name's Whitefish. I like fish. Love the tail. The colors here, I love how dark. Just so fun to see like the actual like this is these are different colors here as well on the actual fish. The very far side just stenciled out. I love it. I love the eyes. I love how it looks like you're it's like moving through water. I'm gonna be quite a simp for this like these colors. This blue and the yellow to me go so well together. My only critique about this mainly is that I wish it was bigger. <laughs> like I don't know. I can't tell how big this is. But to me, obviously, like a marlin is a huge fish, and I love it. Oh, man. <clears throat> now we have here, I think it's a jetsam. 
It could be a Grawl. I'm not really sure exactly. We got Neo Loop here. I love the shark. I love the three fins on the back. More fins going on here. I truly can't even tell how they made this. Because in my head, I thought this was like computer or whatever using software to make this. But then it kind of has that vibe of like an actual like oil like how the colors come out here like how, how do you get this effect exactly I'm not even sure love the color I think it's done with like an actual with like a, like a, a stylus but whatnot but let's just take a look at it obviously I love the background I love the little shoo, shoo, shoo. I love the signature as well Neo loop Just the various different colors across him is so amazing. I'm gonna let me just make sure I didn't like just uh, <laughs> say I don't know. I still don't know if it's a Jetson or a Grawl. Fight me in the comments. Um, I love the different the teeth in me are amazing. I love the sharp teeth. I love how there's a different red for the back of the mouth here. We got the gills right there. I love this the one off shot of this. I guess limeish green. We got the bright red eyes. It honestly looks like it's about to chase and eat something. I love it. Just, I love the little bit of white across the fish. Shark, I should probably say. Love the tail. I love the outline as well. It's not like completely so like rigid and define it's gonna be hard to pick winners definitely gonna be very hard to pick winners all right i've been trying to figure out for a while what exactly this is to me because i thought it was towards like an axolotl so i think it is an axolotl lutari i could be wrong as you can see, they're cute. They have the little on their head frills that are this kind of idea. Got four legs. Love it. All right, let's. I do love the idea. We're just floating away and we're popping bubbles. I love the web feet as well. I also like here on its tail. You can see how it has webs here. There's a web here as well on the feet like it got a little down here signature oh this is hand drawn I love it I love the watermelon colored tail I'm not quite sure exactly what these little patches there are for I'm guessing they're drawing something specific but I'm not sure exactly love the frills <laughs> just peacefully playing in the water I'm not sure exactly what this exact part is because I thought this whole part's the tail or maybe I don't understand what an axolotl is supposed to look like. Sorry, I misclicked that uh, images. It does have like a clear and then a heavy color. <laughs> Like they nailed the face on that. All right, let's keep going. This has to be the Marquan Chambi, hand drawn as well. It's also fun to see how they drew it out, how they adjusted to it. I always love to like see the various different art directors and angles they took. All right, so here is the actual Chombi. I might, I might get some hate for this, but I do like how they took away the actual mark on here. I just love how it looks like Big Loch Ness Monster.
no face paint either. Love the color as a green. We got the purple, got the tail, all the fins. I just can't keep, look at this face. This looks so happy. It's going to be hard to pick guys. I'm already, I'm already dreading that. I'm sweating. <clears throat> I'm really sweating. I do like how this looks like a mermaid tail. I'm not sure why. Then we got the Marikwan Ogren. Ooh. So once again, I still don't know what exactly. It has these nice little. These remind me of the angler fish, but then I'm like, oh, this also looks like a seahorse. But seahorses have rat tails where they hold on to stuff. Which is cool to look at the seahorses. Big belly seahorse, common. Wow. Imagine being a common seahorse. I do love how much this looks like an ogre, though. This was the very first entry, so it has a soft space, soft spot in my heart, because then I'm like, oh, someone joined. Woo! The relief. I can't tell you how much I love this, like, sail frill in the back here. Like, it almost looks like a royal, whatever exactly. I wish I knew exactly what this was supposed to be imitating. I love the tail as well. But, once again... We have so many different colors. We have this orange. This is a different color orange over here, it looks like, I believe. We have a little, little speck in its eye. We have red lips. I love the little chin here as well. Is that on my monitor or is there little light blue lines there? Interesting. Oh, two, you can, there are more of them as well. Interesting. Let me get a zoom in and see every small little detail. I love the pause. This to me looks like an actual in-game Neopet. I can stare at these for hours. Oh, man. So once again, like I said, these are just my subjective opinions. There's got to be a winner. There's got to be a loser. No one's technically a loser. This was supposed to have fun. I had a great time. I'm going to spend 5 million, technically 5.1 million. So let's just get down to business. <clears throat> okay, if I had to pick which one of these two are better... Which one would I rather? Which one would I want to have framed, and then put on my wall? I'm so conflicted. This is not good. How the? How do I choose? I love both these so much for different reasons. And I. Uh, okay, let's just see. Let's take that one for now. if we go like that okay how about these two i like the floatsum more than lutari i think it might be because of the background though but this is like hand drawn oh geez oh geez how do i do this guys How do I how do I possibly pick? I almost want to use a random wheel spinner because I legitimately can't decide. But then, don't be don't miss out. So that that's seventh. Okay, so these three are done. I think with some sort of technology. 
of these three, which one would I want on my fridge? I think I would go these three for my fridge. I'd go Floatsum, Chombi, Lutari, <clears throat> kills me inside to try to... Uh, I feel like an asshole. This is not good. But also, I can't retcon and get them all a tie. I feel like that'd be just a complete waste of time. It's supposed to be an art contest. The thing once again here is I also feel like I'm prioritizing these two because they have backgrounds. They, they feel, in a way, more of a complete picture in my dumb brain. Okay. The thing is, I would gladly own all these art. I do love his little face, though. I just sat here the last like three, four minutes trying to figure out, and for some reason my brain just aesthetically likes these ones over the hand drawn ones. But then when I put one hand drawn over here, I want to put the rest of them at least in the top like four. <sighs> All right, just stand a man up and suck it up and just have it, just get it done. All right, before I just pick them, I want you guys to know I'm, I plan to do another art contest. And I don't know if I got to pick better grades or I got to have a pull or something, but this is this is just too conflicting. It hurts to do. It's all right. When you see me again, I'm going to have first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. All right. All right. I have decided. Please don't hate me. <laughs> I just... This is such a hard thing that I thought it was going to be. So once again, prize payouts. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. So obviously, look at my gallery. Like I said, if you want something, we'll knock it off 25% minus by that. And if obviously, make up the difference. So all right. And first... And first we have, I think we all predicted what I was going to do here, because I also noticed that my preference to various Neopets played a big role in how I've ranked. I got to use some time thinking, but I'm also going to make a poll somewhere to talk about which, I think I'm going to have two themes for next one, so if you don't want to draw Marikwan, I'll have two themes. And then I'll have four possible themes on my YouTube, and I'll have you guys vote there. So look forward to that. I'll talk about that when I release that. But So in first place... For 1.5 million. I tried not to see who submitted the art to not be like pushed towards someone I know more or don't know, or if you're new. Like, I try my best to be impartial, but I'm just not like that. So, in first for 1.5 million, I just have to put this Asia. At various times, I had to drop down a third, once fourth, but every time I see this photo, I just want to look at it longer. Like, why is Asia so happy? All the different colors they put on here. Just the hearts are lighting up. Just the dark purple. I love the line outlines, the tail, the hair. I can stare at this phone like I did stare for like five minutes. And I'm like, how do I not do this? I love the little ears. So that's first for 1.5 million. In the second place, we have... The Grawl Jetsum Shark. Once again, just looking at this, I could stare at it for a long time. What's he chasing? What's he going after for? I just love sharks. As a kid, I was like, in my, as a kid, I thought there was a possibility that in our ditch, there could be a shark. And I always was like, okay, shark, if you're there, I'm going to throw some, some stuff there. If you're, go eat that. Don't eat me. Because I would walk in my ditch to catch little shitty stickleback. Little fish, whatever, but yeah. So that's 1 million. Third place. This might be a surprise to people for 800k. Third place, we have the Chombi. Obviously, some art is more talented, more 
insert various degrees of difficulty, perfection. But when I look at this, I want to put, because in my head, I believe at my best, I could maybe draw this. And when I look to my fridge, I would love to see this on my fridge. I don't know, just something about it, just, I look at it, it just makes me happy. Seeing a fat, round, chomby, smile on his face, swimming through the water, having a good time, Loch Ness Monster, the Ogopogo, if you know about that. Yeah, I love this one. I love them all to some degree, obviously. The can't be about your first place, guys. So in fourth place for 700k, we have the Mariquan Float Song. I don't know why this just speaks to me at such a level. It reminds me of the like old fisher, old fish in the sea, old fish in the sea, where he catches the fish and then it gets eaten by sharks and just has a tail left. I just love the aesthetic. The simple lines of this. The, look how sharp the nose of the beak is. I love that blue. I love the different color blues that I didn't notice at the very, very start. Like I said, if this was a bigger, a bigger fish, a little more streamlined or something. Yeah. I love it. Fifth for 500k. We have the Ogren. <clears throat> I... I I think what I learned about myself is that when it comes to art like digital art is that I need to have a background to be more because the, the background is what really sold me on this. I mean, it went from like a just a picture to like I became more immersed in like a location. I guess I didn't specify good enough and I guess I could have easily corrected that and got a higher score. I apologize. It's just conflicting. It's tough. For a long time, I just had these three, one, two, three. But at the same time, I don't want to just not reward hand drawn. But it, I, don't, I, I was just conflicted. Once again, though, I could look at this sail for hours. I love the little horn thingies, antennas. Part of me, it reminds me of a, a lantern from Pokemon. Just like he's gonna shock you. So yeah, here's Lantern, the little ball with the yell at the very end. Pretty cool, they had an electric fish. Obviously the pre-evolution form is what it more looks like than what I realized. I haven't played Pokemon for a long time. Alright, and 6 for 400k, we have our Lutari. I'm not sure what in my brain is holding this back from being the higher mark. I'm not pers exactly sure. It might be the portions or that I don't see a fourth leg or maybe that's the fourth leg. I'm not sure ex I exactly understand this. It feels like a crime putting it last. I just love all the details. I'm not sure. <sighs> this. It hurts to have to pick a six. Obviously in seventh we have the slug. Just if it's the least refined one. This was cleaned up, would have done very well, but maybe it's the eyes. I'm not sure. It has green eyes like me. Very nice. Ugh. This was painful, guys. This was the most painful thing I've done. Uh, I feel like an asshole. I'm going to go to bed sad now. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Seventh, and if you're in the chat and you feel really bad and you're like, Whitefish, it was just a crime, feel free to come into my Discord and post very nice things. There has to be a winner, there has to be a loser. I'm sorry. Once again, go to my shop. I'm sorry, my gallery. Anything in the actual art contest thing. Part of the prizes. I feel dirty right now. 
I probably should too. All right. I'm going to wash away. I'm going to wash away this disgusting feeling by looking at other art. Oh. <clears throat> Whew, I'm just going to go over the ones that I'd like and come back every once in a while to show them. It's as good ones here. I've probably already seen them and judged them in a past different video. So just so you know. In case you didn't know, to see it full screen, you just press control left click and it'll pop up big. Obviously here we have the Alita Battle Angel Extraordinaire. I love it. Yeah, I just voted you didn't see that. So interesting seeing the various different reimaginings of various pets. I'm going to vote for them after I stop doing that, but the simplicity of this Asia to me is so amazing. We got a Blue Maru, Twisted Fate. Dealing them. Then you have this kind of Blue Maru where it looks like a Sharpie. But I like he's fire. I love it. Oh, man. This is the thing. Cause like This is way better aesthetically and way more... I guess you call it more talent, more whatever effort. Then you have this, which is a beautiful, beautiful blue maru. <laughs> so his nose hanging over, little eyelashes. Quick selfie. It's a gif. Look at us go. G gif. Yeah, fight me. This is a, by the way, a Bori, I think, by the way. And this is the buzz. Want to take a stroll in the forest? <laughs> Look at those big bug eyes. The antennas. <clears throat> Damn. Basically what I'm doing is I'm basically having people do art. <laughs> and then they can submit it for the art contest. <laughs> uh... I bust out laughing so hard when I saw this one. A potato chia. Tater tot. They call me taters. That's a wrong white joke, I think. <laughs> I love it. This is so good. Then we got our Chombi. Reminds me of a cartoon. Is it, I forget what it's called exactly, but it's definitely his face from it. Man, these are really good. Zooms inside bunny. Look at those stars. So many details. Just the colors you pick for the little flower. <clears throat> I love the mane as well. Then you have once again this 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 must be the same artist who drew this. <laughs> I just can't. My mom tried really hard and she's proud of my drawing. So who drew it? Your mom? Hmm. This looks like how I imagined an actual Dragonite in the game. A Pokemon. Oh, she's the female. This is way better than the actual scuff when we get in the actual... There was only two elephants, and so this is what we had. <laughs> the Eerie. Even Tide just wins in my heart every time, if you didn't know. There was no actual, like, really any full-bodied Eeries. I could be wrong, though. Good old Floatsome. Inherited the shipyard from her grandmother, and with her trusty sidekick, Gil, she intends to keep up the reputation. The story adds a lot to me. Quite shy and odd, he is said to have come from another planet. He loves plushies and hates thunderstorms. Damn, that's detailed. Love to see it. Chocolate Norbu. Usually I'm a hater of chocolate and Norbu. But there's no cherry on his head. Like, having no cherry is beautiful. A little bow tie. Love his little feetsies. That's real nice. Then you have a, a uni. Oh, this is a Norbu. Okay. 
I was wrong. Forgive me. I honestly don't even remember what this even was. This looks like a Final Fantasy character or monster. It's got four eyes, a bunch of wings. It has like the regular kind of these kind of wings and its tails. I love looking at this. Love the little horns too. Oh, what's going on here? This was so like sus and sketchy. I'm like, it's obviously a marshmallow grundo. But what's going on here? <laughs> There's so much going on here. I don't even know. But I love it. Then we had Los Lager Grundos out there. Rip converted. Oh, man. And there was another the Grundo. Soul Hass. Look at the superhero from Spider Man, the villain guy. Then we have more. Spoiler is on the right. My friends, Mallow, Bivlo is on the right. They're sharing a s'mores pizza. He's eating his own kind. Yikes. What a true Chad gamer. How come he doesn't get a crown? Or Alright, see a few more and call it a day. And yes, I want you to know that I voted for this Grundo. He's super sad. He's a true gray Grundo. Alright, we got that hissy. Until yesterday, he was ice. I love the open wings of a snake like this. It's like a wind serpent. On the tail, little coils. I love seeing this little gif. And then it changed colors. I'm like, this, this has to get my vote. The magical goat. <laughs> Please bear a vote for my magical goat. This just reminded me of a cute little Pikachu. This was crazy. Two-headed cow. As he stares in the sky, there are twice as many stars as usual. <laughs> this is burlap, I think, not plushy. It could be wrong. I love this little koi. Love the colors. Another koi here that I liked. A little swoop over. Reminds me of a magic harp, just chilling there. The part where they threw three of these is what I'm like, this is crazy. These look like old Disney characters that would have like, terrified you as a kid. I love it. The air mechanical clown bats. Link, and you might miss them. I love the little tail falling apart and the ears. That's wild. <laughs> I just thought, just seeing a pet inside of it has cheeseburger. I love it. And then Lenny. It's Bill's birthday this week. He's having difficulties blowing out his candles. Usual, please check out full size version on his pet page. I don't want to get any weird comments, so for Mercas, this is the best one. It's not me trying to go out of my way to find, insert, vaguely made cafe anime art character. It's just, it's just the best one. Well, we're already here. I saw Fireblades. I said yes. And then I saw the comment, remind me never to enter a picture with the BG and the BC again. It reminds me of Ratchet. I'll be honest, that's why I just couldn't say no. A little headphone earpiece in there. You'll love it. All right. Once again, wasn't my idea, guys. It was just there. <laughs> All right. A couple species only had one or two entries, so kind of skipped them. This also looks like a very strange looking anime beast. Beast Star, whatever that anime was called. This reminds me of that anime. I also like how his ears look like feet, actually. Little halo, too. I like it. Majest so there's, I was conflicted. There's two really good Piofins. Royal. Mm -hmm. Little crown here. Quite Roman-esque. They are Greek. And you just have a, just a beautiful, straightforward 
Fairy. Teofin. Gonna be hard to pick. This Poogle was drawn for me, I think. Just this face. <laughs> the mutant Poogle. Oh, I love it. And then mostly there's two Petries, like... I love this, but I also love this. The part where it's a Phoenix. It also, like, reminds me of a Pidgeot. That was my, like... As a kid, when I had Pokemon Red, I ha I always see I caught a Pidgey, and he we rode to become a Pidgeot. So, yeah. Legend has that a feather from Prins Prism Bend can heal some of the most intense illnesses in Neopia. I feel like it's the exact line from Harry Potter <laughs> with the Phoenix. That's great. They even drew it like falling like this. It's crazy. This person must have had a real feather for reference because that's perfect. This one, vote for me or I poke you with my trident. I mean, he's he's got a point. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> so I just had to simp here for a while. This, the xylophone bori, or I'm not sure what exactly is, but I like it when they add multiple pets in one picture. Because I don't even know if it's even four again. Oh, a Shoiru, that's what this one was for. Ogren Shoiru. As a kid, every kid loved the xylophone. Just that, 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 that. That, and you, you, you just start hitting it as hard as you can until you, someone got annoyed by it. And uh, you you know the person drew this. And this guy was for sure smoking something. And then he's like, might not get entered in. Sneakers on point, wings on point. And he's just breathing hard, eh? Looks like he's holding something in his hand here that probably wasn't wasn't that. Having thoughts, eh? Mm-hmm. Where she had drawn it was just smoking, but and then I saw this one. Bigger version of the pet page. Fight me. You know I don't like horses, guys. But when I saw like it having licorice wings. Oh my. That's way more detailed. Damn. That's a little can oh, so it's candy. Duh. Dang, that's really good. Once again, you know this person knows how horses look. Got the lighting on point. My only critique is that I don't really understand because the tail is obviously caught in candy, but I'm not sure. Obviously, the horses had that, but that'd be really long. Kind of wish the horn was stood alone here, but this is super good. Oh yeah, that's amazing. A few more to go, and we'll call it a day. All right, you know I love useless too much. I gotta just give it a little more attention. Little spidery guy. This is what I assume when you take like hallucinogenics would be in my <laughs> in my vision. Just a one-eyed. It's got creepy crawlies. I love the these purple and green. Got the little bow, I love it. But this is what appear. I don't know. Hear me freaking out, running naked somewhere. <laughs> then you had the human. There wasn't too many human looking pets, but the hair's on point. At first when I saw this, I'm like, oh, does she have really hairy legs? I'm like, oh, they're stockings. <laughs> Kawaii. And then we have the Suki girl. See, there's many good ones, but for some reason, this one just speaks to me. It speaks to me. Glam and Feral? Did I not vote? Good. This was the only Vandegar submission, <laughs> and I love it so much. It trembles, it trembles as you approach. We got a lighter, okay. Demon, demoniac, okay. Love the two tails. Interesting they chose green as a color for that. 
Not plotting evil. Okay. A refined Neovian lady. Ashu Bani enjoys tea. Love the real imagining of this character. Little flowers as well. This to me when I saw it from the background, I'm like, why are we tying up animals? But then I saw it. Pastels we talk, spend your day sunbathing, kissing butterflies, eating sweets. But one critique is I don't understand why this line here is so defined when this leg isn't, but the eyes are pretty cool. Love the wings too. In parts it looks overly defined, in other parts it looks a little bit less defined. I'm not really sure. Then I saw this and I was, <laughs> I want to be where the yearbles are. <laughs> That's so good. There's only a few yearbles. This was pretty cool. Got the Elton John glasses on there, but this is so good. <clears throat> I saw a, pure, a Persian meow here. A vote for Zedra. Zidria is a vote for fluffy girls everywhere. HD on the page. All right. When they say that, I feel like I'm okay. Yeah, that looks okay. But this is lines are so crisp. Oh yeah, that's that's got to be a dub. This is also super good. I'm conflicted. And then this was cool because I like I didn't expect it all of a sudden to like animate i was like oh shit oh man the third eye i'm not sure what's going on in the background there with these eyes it's like et phone home kind of thing i feel like this is a bigger picture oh kind of like a cosmic okay oh it's okay What's kind of weird in my head, this was like a female version, and then when I see it, this is like a male version to me. Interesting. The ears going down to me is also interesting. All right. Had fun. Hope you guys had a good time. Bite me in the comments that I got the people wrong. My heart hurts. But see you guys next time. Peace.